Hello, everyone. So when Jonathan first messaged me about doing this video, my first reaction is no. I don't want to do that. I can't talk on camera and talk in front of people, but I'm trying to be more obedient and I feel this is something God wants me to do too. So a little over a year ago, I started to feel this overwhelming push that I needed to start reading my Bible. Well, me being me, I fought against it. I didn't want to. I hate reading. I've never read a book before. Um, being dyslexic does that. And I didn't want to. Well, for weeks, this little push just kept coming up. And it kept coming up in random places. I turn on my TV and there was a commercial about someone talking about reading their Bible. Or I would get in my car and there's an ad about it. Or it just come up in random conversations. Honestly, it was starting to get on my nerves a little bit. <laughs> and um, so I started to pray about it. And I said, God, if you would give me the ability to read better, I'll read my Bible every day. And God knew I was being completely insincere. I was. I didn't want to still. And he said, no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. And he was right. And he pointed out, I have the ability to listen to his word every day on my phone at any time. All I have to do is push that little play button on the bottom of my Bible pages and it'll read it to me. And I could have done that at any time. And when I first heard that, I it was a mind-blowing moment. Why had I never thought of that before? I could have done this for years. Why have why has that never came to me? And so I thought about it and I realized the reason why is because I didn't want to. I didn't want to read my Bible and I think I didn't want to for a few reasons. One was because I was being lazy and the other is because I think I was scared. I was afraid to know God's rules, because if you don't know rule, you can't break it, which is completely wrong, but that's my mindset at the time. So from that day, I started listening to my Bible, and I'm on day 381. I've listened to it every day, and my Bible study it's very different from other people's. I don't sit down at my table. I don't spread out all my information and study that way. I listen to my Bible every night while I'm taking a shower. It's my only alone time. And I feel like I can truly connect with God while I'm alone and in that moment. And so over these years, or over this year, I have learned so much. There's so much I didn't know that I didn't know. There's entire books in the Bible that I never knew existed. I, I had no idea that Moses' story continued so far after Egypt. I had no idea. And it's just been an amazing journey, learning, what I call my story and our story, because everything that happens in that book is about me too. And so this year's been full of blessings, but it's also been very hard too. So in one aspect, I can feel my relationship with God getting so much better. We're getting so close. I'm learning so much about him. And then in my daily life, 
it's not great. Um, COVID has affected me just like it's affected everybody. Um, I'm now a homeschooling mom, which I love, but it's not easy. Um, Chris has also started his own business, which has been amazing, but it's also very hard um, financially. Some weeks we're doing great, and other weeks I'm happy if I find a quarter in our washing machine. And it's just life, it's just piling up, piling up. And one morning I wake up, walk downstairs, and one of my kids say something, something meaningless, shouldn't affect anybody, but that day it did. And it was the final straw. It was my breaking point. And I marched upstairs to my room and I paced my floor. I was mad. I was upset. I was breaking. And um, I prayed. And as I prayed, I did not bow my head just right. I did not hold my hands the way we're supposed to. I was actually very angry and very confrontational. And I listed all of my complaints to God. And in that moment, he listened. He sat quietly and listened as I complained about everything. And I got to the end where I finally said, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm done. I can't do this. I don't want this life. If this is what it's supposed to be, I don't want it. I don't want to do it anymore. It's all yours. You do it. I don't want to. I can't. And I laid on my bed and cried and just sat there and stared at the ceiling. And as I was sitting there, I felt this huge weight be lifted off of me. And I could feel God's sigh of relief, like he was finally saying, finally, finally you're honest, finally you're telling me what I already knew. And it was like this wall that had been between him and I, this, this thing that was stopping us from having the relationship I really wanted, it was gone. Finally, I trusted him and finally I felt what I had been wanting to feel for a very long time and had I not been reading my Bible this year had I not been learning about our history I would have not had the courage to do that and I would not have been able to understand that moment and for the first time in my life, I'm able to say, God loves me. And I'm able to say that honestly and without feeling like a fake because it's true, but I had never known it before. He loves me. He loves me so much that he was able to comfort me when I was complaining about all of the blessings that he's given me. That's unconditional love. That's amazing. That's something I would have never experienced had I not been aggravated enough to start listening to my Bible every day. So it all goes back to knowledge. Had I not been learning and getting the knowledge from God, I would have not been able to trust him. And without the trust, I would have never felt his love. And without knowing his love 100% and feeling it, I would have never been able to have my faith where it is now. So now all these unpredictable things in the world and in my personal life come up. I know that God's got this.